keeping up with our motto let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students hello students today we are going to see the chapter from science and technology part 1 chapter number 4 that is effects of electric current students we have already seen the first part of this topic where we have covered the topics like energy transfer in an electric circuit heating effects of electric current magnetic effects of electric current and right hand thumb rule in today's part we are going to cover the magnetic field produced due to a circular loop and magnetic field due to a current in a solenoid students we have seen that when a current passes through a wire a magnetic field is formed around in the wire now that magnetic field is explained by the right hand thumb rule today we are going to see the magnetic field pass through a circular loop we have learned about the magnetic lines of force now this magnetic lines of force are the imaginary line now we have got a circuit is completed by connecting the various components as shown in the figure here if the current passes through the loop now the same straight wire which was taken for right hand thumb rule has been converted in the form of a loop and those two ends are connected with a battery now if the current passes through the loop magnetic lines of force are produced at each point on the loop that is at the two centers and as we go away from the wire the concentric circle represent the magnetic lines of force will become bigger and bigger as it is seen and as we go towards the center of the loop the circle becomes so big that its r can be shown as a straight line now by making use of right hand thumb rule we can find out that every point on the loop contributes the magnetic lines of force at the center of the loop and this lines of force at the center of the loop are in the same direction and the intensity of the magnetic field at any point produced by a current flowing through a wire is dependent on the current so that is what has been seen in a circular loop this means that if there are n turns in the loop the magnetic field will be n times of that produced by a single loop will be created so this is an example which tells us as the number of loop increases the magnetic lines of force will increase because magnetic lines of force are the imaginary lines so as the loop increases this lines will increase that means the magnetic field will increase so that is about the magnetic field produced by a current through a circular loop next part we have got is a magnetic field due to a current in a circular loop that is magnetic field due to a current in a solenoid now what is solenoid when a copper wire with a sensitive coating is wound in a chain of loop it is called as solenoid now how the magnetic field is formed due to a current in a solenoid can be understood easily with the help of this video so please observe the video carefully take a long coil with many circular turns of insulated copper wrapped closely in the shape of a cylinder this type of coil is called as a solenoid the electromagnetic effect of a solenoid is used in several appliances let us pass electric current 
through the solenoid and observe the pattern of magnetic field lines demonstrated here. The magnetic field lines in a solenoid are same as in a bar magnet. They pass through the solenoid and return from the other end. The field lines inside the solenoid are parallel to each other. The parallel lines will have the same magnitude of the magnetic field. That is why the solenoid has a uniform magnetic field. The properties of the solenoid is similar this to the magnetic field produced by field, bar magnet. It rests pointing north and south just like the suspended magnetic bar does. It shows that on passing electric current, the solenoid turns to a magnet having north and south poles. When we take a piece of soft iron inside this coil, the iron piece is pulled inside. The electromagnetic effect performs the mechanical function of pulling. The system of a coil with soft iron core is used for several electromechanical applications such as start or stop actions for valves of the dishwashers, starters of vehicles, pull and push agents of the door locks, etc. The current carrying solenoid converts the soft iron into an electromagnet. When the current is stopped, the solenoid is demagnetized. Even the soft iron core also loses its magnet. So that is what about solenoid. I hope everyone has followed this part of this video. Thank you dear students.